Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be doing a bit of an unboxing. We got this guy in now. I understand that this is also supposed to work for the Spark. So it's the uh, Monitor Sun Hood Antenna Range Extender Combo for Mavic Pro, but it's supposed to work with the Spark. So we're going to see that, and we're going to see how it works. So uh, it's uh, rather sealed up here, so let's go ahead and uh, let's unseal it. Pretty good piece of tape to, to cut like that to unseal it and pop it open here and do a little bit of unboxing. Ooh, wow! Ah, all right. So this must be the um, the uh, sun shield, and it's kind of like a leatherette type. If I can get it out of here, and there's something clipped to the back of it. Seems to be some kind of magnet. I'm not sure how that actually works. Let's get that aside. Comes with some instructions. Comes with your obligatory um, lens cleaner. Interesting. So now this folds up. Look at this. This is cute. Cute. Remove film before. Tear off protective film before using. Well, I'm not going to quite use it yet. So let's do the first piece. Let's see if it fits. So I got my controller here and probably have to leave the ears all the way up. Now it looks like there's a thick part in the bottom and a thin part. So I think if we use the thick and thin parts sort of like this, it fits. Fits rather nicely too by the way. Look at that. How is that for um, does impede a little bit with my fat thumbs, but not bad. I can deal with it. I just have to move. Usually I set push my fingers more forward like that. Uh, but I just have to move them back a little bit. Um, impedes a little bit on the power and the home button, but you can still get to them pretty easy. Both buttons are uh, pretty easy to get at. So that works. Now let's figure out this other piece. So... Uh, Let's see how this works. So this appears to be this appears to be magnetic. So uh, let's move this over here for a little bit. And wow, it's got all kinds of stuff. So I am sort of guessing part of I don't know. No, that doesn't. Oh, I think I see what this... Does that work like that? Maybe I should read the instructions. Somebody will complain. I always get a number of people. Why don't you read the instructions? Because I don't want to read the instructions. Um, and, like, I can really see the instructions. Uh, huh. Oh. How is that supposed to work, then, if that is on there? This appears to be, these appear to go on the antenna. So if I were to remove this, then what happens, I believe, is this goes on here like, sort of like this. So the best I can figure it is it does go on there like that with these on the antennas. Uh, and there's little pressure points in here to hold them in place. And they sort of match on the uh, direction of the antenna then what these tabs do is they sit on the controller and uh, but you know tipping it up like that doesn't make too much sense now I think what probably will make more sense is if one were to use that use them with the um, antenna because I think the way that this works actually makes more sense especially for the spark because what happens is this goes in here, I think something like this, if I can get these in here. And so this goes through this, these loops. And then what happens is this piece actually folds up inside there if you can see like that then what happens is if I put my antennas back up and I actually put this on here like this 
slide these through. And I press this on. This begins making a lot more sense because now I can fold these under here like this. And uh, this halfway stays on here like this. So this, this actually makes sense like this. And then what we can do, let's take the bigger phone and we can put it in here. And uh, that'll actually give us a little bit of, of shade for, for the phone. So that actually works like that with the range extenders better than without the range extenders, uh, if you know what I mean. So that makes a little bit of sense. I'll have to take this out in the field and try it. Um, I just don't like how it sits on there like this uh, a little bit. So I haven't, uh, the jury's still out if I like this or not. Um, I would like to see it have a little bit more tactical feel as to um, its attachment. Yeah, I'm just trying to see here. So, I mean, if you kind of hold ev everything the way it should be, yeah, it's not bad. Uh, I, I, again, I'd like a little bit more solid lock onto this. I'm interested to see how this works as far as to um, uh, distance. And because these kind of hits these pads down here at the bottom if the intent is for them to go underneath that because I don't know where else they would go um, hmm. because on here on the instructions it shows them on top of the controller if you can see that uh, and then it shows it the same on the other side because this page is for the assembly without the extender and this page is for the assembly with the extender. Um, so I'm real curious to see how this all works out in the field because that keeps pulling up. Maybe it just sits down on there like that. Um, I don't know, maybe the uh, Mavic remote is a little bit bigger. Uh, maybe these should maybe these should just fold up inside. Uh, let's see what happens if can I just fold these up inside and get these right out of the way, and then this that that probably actually makes more sense. And then my fingers, because you can see my fingers or thumbs can fit inside here. This is far better. This is so I'm not sure it actually shows that. Maybe that's what it intends in this Chinese drawing. Uh, Anyways, we'll take this out to the field and, and give it a little bit of a go. Um, it does make it a little bit heavy, if you will. Um, it's not too bad. Um, just trying to see, bounce it around. Uh, because again, it's only held on by the support of the antenna. So, um, you know, if you're going to be doing some more controlled or cinematic flying, I think this will actually be good. I like the fact it, and you guys, it's hard, no, sorry, I know it's hard for you guys to see, but th this provides a top-down shade. So if I actually tilt it back like this, now I know you guys can't see it, but it actually allows me a fairly good view as the operator. Uh, and also I have, you know, glare from the fluorescent lights above that I used to light this bench. And I can see the screen really clear. Um, so I think that's pretty good. I, I think if I came up with some clips on the side here to hold this back, this might actually work out pretty good. So I'm interested to see how the range extenders perform. I'm a little bit sometimes suspect of range extenders because what happens is you always have to gyrate yourself to match the range extenders. Um, you know, so it's pointing at the copter so you do get more range, but you lose the omnidirectional nature of, of it. So if the copter comes in behind you or something and you're not aware of it, you'll lose signal. And obviously if you lose signal, you know, you could invoke a return to home uh, while it's close to you or something like that. So there's pros and cons to the uh, range extenders. We'll give it some shots, especially when we get some time to take it out over the lake, we, you know, because really that's some pretty straight flying out there and uh, it's pretty hard for it to get in behind me. But uh, 
Anyways, I'll keep you posted. I'll have the link for this down below. I think this is okay. I'm not jumping up and down for joy with it. I think for 25 bucks, you got the hood and the extenders. You know, it's kind of about the same as if you buy them separately. Um, I may actually try to 3D print up something to kind of hold this a little bit better. You know, it's okay uh, for what it is. But anyways, I'll have the links down below if you're interested. Also, don't forget, I've got an entire um, accessory site set up for the... Uh, uh, sparks. If you're interested in that, I'll have links below and then also cards up there. So anyways, uh, subscribe button's going to be coming up over there. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking about for lunch. And hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.